is where I grew up, mate. In here. Come on, bruv. The beaches. The beaches. Yeah, me and yeah, we come in, didn't we? The beaches. This was this is mate. See that house, that one there, number four, right in front, number four. That was me, bruv. This is where I busted my chin and everything, mate. On a, I was on a uh, BMX and I jumped a skateboard on the BMX and I stacked it and done my bottom chin. Just here. Come on, bruv. These are the ends, geez. I'm going to show you now where my first ever shop was. It's around this location. So I'm just going to turn around and I'll show you where my shop was. You're going to be super impressed. Kids are still out playing. That ain't changed. I had my first outdoor poo poo over there. Nice. Yeah, yeah I got caught short. My, my mum went in. Ah. Uh, and I'll tell you a little secret. See how the buses go past there? Yeah, we used to throw tennis balls at the buses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. And they used to bounce off the windows. And one day. He'd done a turn. My mate threw a tennis ball, but I threw a conker, and he went straight through the window. Oh, no. Straight through the window. I was a naughty little <laughs> I run. <laughs> the bus stopped, and he come after us. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, thanks, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there thinking they're going to deduct out of my wages. <laughs> <Just whop it. laughs> come on, bro, man. Come on, just whop it in. <laughs> Thank bro. you. This was my ends. This is where all my, my posh mate, rich mates used to live. And I grew up and lived in this council estate here, beaches, loved it. You're taking me to the shop. I'm going to take you both to the shop. My first ever shop. This is where I made money. When we get there, I'll explain what my inventory was. You'll be very impressed, trust me. Entrepreneur. This was the humble abode. This is where I grew up. This is what made me a man. Come with me, come with me. This used to be a fence. Yeah? You know what I did? I cut a hole in the fence and made a hatch out of it. I was about eight years of age. No joke. I would go that side, because you can walk around that, and that's the back garden to the flats. And then I'd open the hatch up, and I'd make <laughs> everyone come round here, and this was my shop. <laughs> right? I promise you, he'll tell you, he knows. This would be my shop, and do you know what I'd sell? I'd sell anything that everyone else in the flats didn't want, and they would sell to me. Yeah. So I'd get all of the kids, from this estate and they would sell me games and toys and I would then sell them to the other kids. So a computer game I'd buy for a pound and I'd sell it for four quid. And I'd sell them all from here to the other kids and the other kids weren't smart enough to say, I could earn more money and I'd sell it to my mate John. The little fella used to be John in there actually. His name was John Kirby and he was my best mate who used to live here. But they weren't smart enough to think, I'll buy that off him for that, I'd sell it to me. And I'd buy everything off them as cheap as I could. It could be marbles, it was it was Nintendo One games. Remember Mario Brothers, Nintendo One, Sega Mega Drive, all Sega that sort Mega of stuff. Drive, then, yeah. And if they get sweets for Christmas, like a selection box, I'd buy the box off them and I'd sell them individually from here. True story. Not just kids from here either. It's kids from well, around. from here, and then I'd have my, my rich mates come around and they would buy stuff. Did the price go up? No, nah, same money, same money. I was just fair with people. You know what I mean? Pay for pay for a pound, sell for two. I'll double my money. And then I'll take you in here and I'll show you something else as well on how I used to earn eight pound a week, regular, every Sunday. Hello, Come bro. with me. How you doing, bro? Fuck hell, Harry! You did that shit. I've lived here 52 years, my friend. He's lived here, man and boy, years. mate. I'm, 50, I'm 56, I, lived here, I moved here when I was four. And I've known Bradley since he was knee high. Mind my language, Harry! <laughs> Hey, Harry. Well, Harry! How you doing, bro? I'm you good? good? I'm good, Brad. Life treating you all right? How's mum? How's, He's good, how's, mate. Everyone's all right. They moved down to West Sussex now. John down there. Down there. Everyone's down there. Yeah. Yeah, we're all right, mate. Yeah, you're doing well. Yeah, Gareth said he's seen you on. Oh, long time, bro. I'm just showing him my shot. Yeah, no, I heard. I'm just boy, showing him my big shot. I don't want to get in your video thing. <laughs> man, oh boy, my man. I'm just going to go and show him it. Do you remember what's the old boy's name who used to run the casino at the top floor? Right at the top floor of the last house, I used to do Above me. Um, I used to do the paper round for him every yeah, Sunday. Um, oh, sugar. Yeah, What's yeah, his yeah. name? The old boy. Yeah, him and his wife bought it, the house. Him and his wife bought it. They were the only people to buy the house. They was they? the only one who bought their flat, and every, he used to work in a casino, and every week he'd come back on a Sunday morning, I'd sit on the wall, I'd wait for him to come in from work, he'd give me a tenner, send me to there to get the paper, I'd run it all the way up, he says, keep the change. Right, give me two minutes now. Come down, say hello. All right, bro. Come in. Wow! I actually realised that happened. Whoa! Harry, man and boy, I'm trying to, I was this big. Still there. 
That was nice, mate. That was, that's all you want. Was... Legit story. I told you, my man, back in my story, and I ain't talking shit. I'll show you this one in here, and then over here, this is where I set up my first car washing business. And I used to clean three cars down there regular every Saturday, five pound a car. And I'd have my mates come with me and clean the car, and I'd give them 150 each, and I was earning a fiver a car, 15 quid, and I'd meet me and another mate. I'll give him 150 a car. Making money, bro. So this was open and that was the back garden. That little place there, there's, there's, a, there's a front door there, there's right my mate used to live there. And that was the back garden. That's mad, isn't it? That's the wall. We used to sit on that wall and I used to wait for my man to come up. And I went to the shop, bang. How long is it? has an easy. 52 years, is it? He's been here for I moved out of here, so I moved up to Foxton Grove. Hello. 13, 14, 13? Must, uh, no, younger. 11, 12. I moved from here, because I lived here, and my mum and dad split up. We went to an halfway house, and my old man threw my mum's boyfriend out the window there and all, into a conservatory roof, and then we moved into here, number four, and I lived there. So I was about eight or nine, and then we moved from here. Well, we used to, to go play football. We used to watch football, do football together and everything. Well, how? Yeah. Oh. yeah, mate. Yeah. Is he coming down? He come down so long. It's not Harry, it's Harry. Oh, Harry. Oh, you no, know, Harry. Oh, that Harry. ain't changed, all that football stuff ain't changed. Am I? My bike got chored out of that shed one day. I cried the bits I did. Someone nicked me bike. Cried to bits. Big climbing fun, yeah. Do you know what I did? This is, the, this is when, I don't know what, what the correct word is now, but knock down Ginger. We stringed the whole of that balcony's doors with the knockers, stood there, woof, brrr, That was the first game. Yeah. And we used to run around everywhere. Here he is, Harry. Are you brave? He's still his world bro. How are you? Right. you've grown, didn't you? What are you doing, mate? Long time, bro. And you, mate? I'm trying. Really different. Try. I'm a bigger boy now, and I. Yeah, much bigger. I was always a Larry one, though, wasn't I? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Always, always try to earn a penny, son. Always try to earn a penny. Trying, isn't it? Wow, he's still here as well. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Loads of us, mate. Who else is still here then? Oh, Carol and Marion. Yes, yeah. they're still here. The twins. Yeah, sisters. The twins, yeah. They're still here. Right, mate. You're all right. You're right. good. Yourself. We're trying, mate. We're trying. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm eating yeah. everything. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. How old was I when I left here? About eight or nine, ten? About ten ish. Yeah. Thirty-eight now. How's yeah. your mum and sister in there? Good. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Very well. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. they're down. We all moved down with Sussex. Yeah. Yeah. Better off. We're about Little Hampton. So I've been down there about. How long have I been down there for? Twelve years. No, longer. No. Yeah. I got a not guilty on a big charge. Happy yeah. day, yeah. Woo! I got not guilty on a big charge. No, I was always going to get into trouble. Do? Do? I didn't do it, not guilty, you see. No, not guilty, you see. Yeah. That, that is running, bro. That is running, bro. <laughs> I'm eating well. I'm yeah, eating yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I've got four well. kids. My daughter's 18. I've got an 18 year old, mate. My oldest is 30. Yeah, mine is over that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah his is over right older than mine. I'm going through it again now. I've got a three year old, yeah. Gary, my oldest is 33, my youngest is 24. Right, and I was oh, passing, we're down here doing a bit of filming, right. and, and, and to be honest, the filming went all right, but it was a bit quiet, on the, and I said, come down here and we'll do a little bit here. Yeah. I wanted to show my first shot round the corner. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. back in the day, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what I was about to tell the story about? I got a little story about fire, I remember when it was fire. Funnels. <laughs> that used to be, that's a fire, fire station, that used to be a removal gap, funnels. I've hit in there a few times. Wait, remember when we got through breath? <laughs> do you know, do you know what I'm going to say, that word? Do you know what I'm going to say, bro? Do you know what I'm going to say, bro? I promise you, right? We've got through the roof. Times, I, made so I made so much drama in there. There used to be mechanics at the back. And I made so much drama. Two fellas used to work in there. We made so much drama that they thought they were getting broken into. But they weren't getting broken into. It was us making the drama. <laughs> so then the geezer comes to me and he says to me, he says, do me a favour, because you're the, I was the, the big kid around here, weren't I? Yeah. He said, do me a favour. He said, keep an eye on it for me. I'll give you a tenner a week. I said, yeah, all right, I'll keep an eye on it for you. It was me causing the drama. And because I was allowed to go in there now, and no one used to watch me, I went in there and I had a, I had a week's worth of wages off the side one week. I'm not I'm bad for it, I know, but I had a week's worth of wages off the side. That was back in the day. 400 though, quid. Back in the day. Back in the day. I had 400 rubs out the place. Chris, remember when we had jumped days, in the room? Bro. What was the geezer who used to live, used to live here? Who, Kim. It was Kim. He it kicked was... my sister in the back of her leg one day and my dad threw him over his balcony one day. Kim. 
Kick my sister in a car. No one's sweet and innocent. Nor Brown here. Nor Brown here. When you live on an housing estate with 32 flats, you make it happen. We do what we've got to do, innit? Make it happen. Come on, bro. Lovely, man. Enjoy going out. Good luck with the world, mate. Thanks, too. Yeah, all the best. I'll see you soon, yeah. Nice one, Geese. See you later, mate. See you later. Reminiscing, eh? Can I get a photo with you today? Yeah, come on. My mama loved that. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Look after yourself, mate. Be good. Yeah, yeah. Bless, yeah. Bro. I'll pop back and see you. Yeah, 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 mate. I'm yeah, we're coming. You're in now, aren't you? When I, know. When I ain't working, mate. When I ain't doing the security, I think, lads, come on. Come on. Me, Keep me on. on the straight and narrow, lads. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that, cuz. You can you know tell you're mean? proper humbled here. That's sick, mate. <laughs> That's sick. That's why you keep it real. Do you know step what I'm saying? You see the step there. That's why you keep it real and you never change. Don't matter what you get in life, how much you got, how much you ain't got, it don't matter for shit. Everyone still eats and shits the same. That's it.